Yeah, so Silga has not moved since yesterday around 10 o'clock and it's now 10 o'clock again so basically for 24 hours she stayed at the same place and the weather has been very strange it was very cool it's been raining a lot and that means Silga should have definitely been moving especially overnight and she didn't so it's always the same story I'm a little bit nervous that something happened to her but at the same time most likely she made a kill like a lion should be doing and she will be sitting there eating something and that's what I'm hoping for at the moment with a little bit of that daddy worry I guess about Silga and we're only the GPS says 350 meters away so we're nearly there and just going off-road through her area here just to check on her and to make sure that she's okay so always exciting and we'll see what happens do you see her yeah that's it <laughs> yeah I see her <laughs> No jump. Let's go. Where's your killer? No, no. Uh -uh. Initially, Serga just seemed a bit lazy, wanted to roll around a bit and mark territory, but in the end, she did decide to go and show me a little bit what happened. Come, let's go. Yeah, let's go, show me. So at first, she walked me past the area where she actually did the chase. Yeah, where is it? No, no. Where is it? It's usually what she does, so it's quite nice. She tries to tell me the story a little bit and showed me where the tracks were. I could clearly see everything. And at this stage, I still didn't know what she actually killed. So Suga definitely made a, a kill here because I can see the tracks here on the ground where she was chasing things. And she is full and I can actually see blood on her. So Suga killed something, but I still haven't found it some waiting for her to just show me where it is because there should be some remains. So after a while she walked me to the place where she was resting for a long time. You can see the prints in the sand. There's actually her own spot where she was lying on top of the sand that had gotten rained on. And that's also where we found her. I can see it, Sega. I can see it. No, no. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. It's okay. Alright, so I found the kill. She has hidden it perfectly. And it's a baby eland. She ate absolutely most of it, just the head is left. Yeah, so you can see it's perfectly hidden underneath here. She's a little bit protective over this, but she's on the other side now and she does let me go to it. Normally she will only let me get close when it's something very big. But yeah, here we go. Good job, sweetheart. Good job. Hmm? Are you done eating it? Are you done eating it? We're gonna leave you here with all of this, all right? Yes, you can stay out. Now we just have to get your collar back on, okay? I will go get the collar. Yeah, good job. So we just got back from um, checking on Silga outside and luckily she was absolutely fine and it's actually pretty amazing. She made a kill, as I hoped, and it was a, a, an eland calf. The elands are having new babies and this is typical for predators that they will be after that. And also it's actually perfect behavior because 
we have a little bit too many elands in Sirgas area, which means I will have to remove quite a lot of them, which we can sell as, as meat in the nearby town. But ideally, the area should be maintaining itself as much as possible. And so Sirga killing elands is absolutely perfect. She was very full and happy. And I immediately noticed blood on her collar. And that clearly meant she must have made a kill. But she has basically finished eating it. And if we're looking at her, her map here from the color, what we can see, the total area goes somewhere around here, quite far up to the top. So she she spent the last three days moving from her waterhole area a long distance up here. This was basically most of yesterday. Then she went down close to the fence back to the waterhole. And from the waterhole, she went this way and then up here and this point if we zoom in we can see that she spent this is hourly point so she spent about 24 hours actually just in this area and the distance here it's about 30 meters these are just three trees so Serga made her kill here we knew clearly that she must have made a kill because or something happened so when I see this then it's very clear that something must have been going on and yeah luckily it was nothing bad. It was perfect. Sirga is full, happy, and we just left her there. The little eland is almost eaten completely, so the, the leftovers will be there for jackals. There was actually one vulture taking off as we got close by already, and Sirga is just outside. We'll see how long it takes until she gets home and how long she can look after herself. Of course, we'll just keep on checking as soon as we see that she is stuck in one place, just to make sure that it's for a good reason and not a scary one. But yeah, couldn't be more proud of him.